Okay, welcome to KSP. This is one of the scenarios that comes with the game. This is the Moon Rover scenario. And I noticed this rover in the stock parts listing. And I'm looking over at this Ever Onward... What was that? Ever Onward Lander. And I'm wondering just how the hell did they get the thing on there? Although I like the probe core, they got stuck here on this side grid right here. Kind of neat. Oh, they had a lot of fuel left. Wasting! That fuel isn't free. Well, it is in this scenario, but anyway. Looks like I have Hal as my navigator up front. And here's the view from the capsule. I must have brakes on. I do have brakes on. Toggle the brakes and turn the lights off. All right. I wonder how well this thing crashes. It's probably going to be slightly uh, up heavy. Is my SAS on? Yes, it is. Oh, I kind of have a view of what's in front of us. Ooh, what's over here? How fast am I going? Not fast. Oh, another notification. Whoa, slidey, slidey, slidey. I'm just kind of coasting at this point, but what the heck? What happens if I hit the brakes? Brakes, hit the brakes. The brakes don't do nothing. Huh. It seems like, um, the stuff's all backwards. What if I control from here? Okay, there we go. Okay, now the controls make sense. It's like I'd, I'd steer left and I'd go right. Like that doesn't make any sense. That's a fairly good amount of lighting on here. It's debris. How's it debris? It has a probe core on it. It can't be debris. I say we try going off this crater here and see what happens. I think how they got this thing on here. I like the um, the truss work they have. Three large trusses, side by side, mounted to I don't know what. What are they mounted on? Tell me. I like the the ladders they got here, so you can like climb up here and I guess somehow f jump here and. Oh hey, there's a little probe here. I should totally try getting that in orbit. Stop! 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 <laughs> Stop! Stop! Okay. We're gonna control from here. And we're going to... Is this thing full of stuff? Yes it is. Decouple the node. And now I should be on this guy. So I should be able to turn on... Yes, yes, and... Go. Oh. Yay! It's backwards mounted. Oh, that's funny. Okay, okay, little probe. Go for all your worth. Oh, I'm going in a polar orbit. Okay, I guess I'm going in a polar orbit then. Fun. We'll go ahead and toggle you because why not? And we'll toggle you since there's no atmosphere to speak of. Put the thing on backwards, I find that somewhat hilarious. Okay, so I got a ways to go before I can make orbit. This would have worked so much better at, say, Minmus. I was supposed to be playing with a rover and I'm playing with this instead. Go figure. Okay, so we'll just keep holding down the N key because we're backwards. Oh, I'm going in a polar... Oh, because I'm facing... It looks like I'm pointing north, but actually I'm going south. Yeah, go figure. We'll go for a nice... 7,000 meter apoapsis. That should work fine. i just hold that. I'm going to waste fuel. 
We're doing it. This is like a calm satellite that I threw in orbit because... Did I say 7,000? I did, didn't I? Okay, there's 7,000. Frame rate kind of dropped a bit. There it is, back again. It's cute. Oh, I got plenty of fuel. Okay. That's well designed. Is that a... What? They have two... Oh, that's strange. Did I have it selected? Did I do it from here? I did. <laughs> How did I do that? Okay, here we go. That makes sense. Yay. I wonder if I get this thing back to Kerbin. That'd be kind of funny, wouldn't it? Not from this orbit. This orbit's all sorts of weird. But I don't need much to circularize at all. Be able to circularize for practically nothing. At least it has a probe core that has torque. So now we, we do this. And that's orbit. Yay, we're in orbit. And now frame rate finally catches up because it has to draw the map. Oh, fun. Where was I? What was I supposed to be doing? Oh, yes, this guy. Switch to. Oh, I think I switched to the lander bit. That's fine. It's right next to the lander itself. There we go. Perfect. Right. Do, do, do. No, where is this nice nifty crater? Here. Yes, it is right over there. Let's take, get some massive air. I got all sorts of lights on this thing. Oh yes, we're gonna have an awesome view of this. Do I have boosters on this thing? Kind of fun. I'm glad rocks don't actually matter. Well, Okay, we're airborne now. Ha! This is called a bad day. Boom! Crunch. Yeah, Gerbils are going to have a bad day. They all seem to be enjoying it, though. Well, they're not going to enjoy it in a minute. Oh, yeah, now they're freaking out. <laughs> it's just a bunch of lights. Doesn't matter. Spinny, spinny, spinny. Well, all these nice sacrificial bits that I got are gonna break and that'll be it. Let's turn the lights off because I don't... I have a feeling I'm gonna run out of battery charge here in a sec. Grindage! Oh yeah, no wonder. I got all sorts of thruster power here. Did any light survive? Yeah, one, two. The inner one's here. And yep, we're stuck. Did I turn it flywheel torque off? SAS only. Oh, what if I do normal? Doesn't have enough torque. What if I go like this? What if I go like this? Well, that does something. Well, that that does that does a lot for me. I just scoot on the ground until something bad happens. There we go. Can I make orbit with this? That'd be really funny if I could. That would be rather amusing.
Let's see. Yeah, I could make orbit with this. <laughs> cool, I guess. Oh, I ran out of that. So now we are stuck. We have used up all the fuel contained in this tank, so these thrusters down here no longer work. That's fine, I guess. Now that we're more or less balanced. And now we're going to have issues trying to make orbit because we're going to be going rather slow. That breaks. Can I make orbit with this? No, I'm thinking we cannot. Because guess why? We're about to impact the surface at really high rates of speed. Maybe I can use RCS power to keep us from... Yeah, that's not changing. I'm gonna... I am going to impact. If I'd done it a little smarter, I might have been able to survive. So, anyway... I got a funny feeling we're going to impact the ground. And it's going to be really messy when we do. So let's make sure the wheels hit first. Then we will... Skim the horizon. Boom! Oh yeah, this will be very messy. Oh, this is epically cool. Sweet! The view is stupendous. My kerbals are gonna die. It breaks off because that might actually help me balance better. Instead of them trying to grab the moon, they let me go. Maybe? Oh, well, we can do it. We can skim this. Yeah, we're about to just completely smash into everything. And... Oh, I so missed that. I'm gonna hit this, though. Boom! <laughs> nope, sorry. That was it. Oh, I gotta... Wow, somebody survived! Get out! Let go! Burn! I wonder if I can get her to into orbit. Yeah, I can get her into orbit. <laughs> I can keep this going. The lone survivor of a doomed scenario. Oh, she's so sad. So sad. Oh yeah, orbits orbits achieved. This is gonna die. But yeah, fortunately I had most of orbital velocity when that happened. We can make it. We can make it. I said we can make it. We can make it. We can make it. Slowly. Okay. There. That's orbit. <laughs> that was fun. Anyway. Uh, yes, I've just killed a bunch of Kerbals. And I don't feel bad for it. Because it's a scenario. Oh, she's so freaked out. Why are you so freaked out? Okay. You're safe in space now. Everything's gonna be fine. What the heck's your name anyway? 
Erlan. Max Absorbo Garment. Is that what they call that? That's funny. So she's in her EVA Max Absorbo Garment. <laughs> okay. Anyway, thanks for watching.